So today we are looking, we're going to do a video a little differently. Video a little differently. Yep. Uh, we're going to be looking at a sound bar. So we have, dark now, we have been using an older sound bar. It was actually a, like a, one of those Amazon Basics sound bars uh, for a while. And it's, it's been fine. Nothing wrong with it. But today we got sent to us. Just move some of this over here. Uh, actually, a new soundbar um, that that I think my hope is that it well maybe it sounds better. All right, so we're here now. Uh, got this speaker and uh, one of the things is our little soundbar which has has done very well uh, you just you can't get them anymore I don't believe and so uh, when these guys were like hey we have a new now this is a 2.1 speaker so uh, it's got a bottom firing subwoofer in it which should help you with some of your sound as well especially you know a lot of us now have TVs, let's say in our sitting room, maybe living room, but they're not that big. So we don't want to be having all this speakers all over the place, but we want decent sound, especially maybe we want decent sound uh, in the low end without having to buy like a huge subwoofer. Now this is, this is a box in a box, box in a box. So it's definitely got some weight. And one of the big things too, is that this this speaker here we go this is it here this is the Moredo. i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right Moredo. um it is and something that i was actually really excited to try it's got a full wood uh casing so unlike a lot of i want to say lower priced or budget friendly uh sound bars those sound bars may be made of like a particle board or something like that something a little less uh, expensive uh, and a little lower in quality in regards to how you're gonna get sound that travels through it so having something that's actual wood can be good so here here's the box right here I'll kind of hold it up because I kind of have to do that right there's there's the box uh, I'm gonna read the specs on it so the model is the D47 CH-6 it's 18 volt sound channel is 2.1 peak power of 150 watts. It does have Bluetooth 5, so if you want to do a wireless connection to it. Um, functional jacks, auxiliary one, one of those, one optical, one USB, one HDMI, HDMI arc, so it does have an arc connector, uh, and one DC. Also has, uh, looks like, I think a remote control. So, what's in the box? We'll, we'll find out. And you do have, maybe you can see that, little little support to hold it but I wanted to do again do this upstairs because it's a bigger box than my table downstairs really allows and this is where it's going all right let's uh let's crack it open shall we I like I like big big speakers and I cannot lie now I believe size wise I believe this is a 31 inch I think uh, don't quote me on it. I will put specs up on the screen. You guys can see it on the Amazon listing. And don't just pour it out because there's boxes all over the place. So I was lucky to catch that. Yeah, it's definitely got way more weight than my other one does for sure. So I'll put this over there. That's the speaker. In this little tiny box, little tiny box, this guy right here, we get uh the remote it's a pretty generic remote this remote looks pretty close to what i even have with my amazon speaker as well as some of the other uh wireless stuff that i have in the house so just kind of rebranded uh you get an optical cable which is nice you get uh, rca cables which is cool you get power supply which is kind of important and you get a little tiny little tiny user manual for those that feel like they need to use a user manual which 
hey, if you do, awesome for you because I just don't have the time. And this, it's not, it's not that it's heavy, so you guys get to see the size of it. But what I like about it is it's actually fairly deep, right? So this way, uh, and it's wood. Now it's not crazy thick wood, but it is, it is supposedly made of wood. Oh yeah, and it's a, it's a black, a black, blacky brown almost. See that? You can see the black up here. Kind of a blacky brown color, but a nice looking sound bar. I like that for sure. Uh, you got your feet on the bottom. It looks like you've got some ventilation maybe here. There's your feet. Uh, there's your subwoofer. And these are going to be, I want to say like breathing holes. Sounds funny, but speakers need to be able to push air around. So my guess would be these would be like vents for the speakers. Does this grill come off? I'm curious, does the grill come off? I don't think so. I don't think the grill comes off, so it's kind of on. Now, on the back, you guys will be able to see it, hopefully right there. You do have your power, your HDMI, full-size HDMI, uh, your optical, and your USB, as well as an auxiliary, which is kind of nice. You actually have auxiliary, so you can plug in whatever you need to. And then on the side here is gonna be like your power and be able to go through things that you would normally do with the remote, but you can do them through here. So power looks like input and up and down. Should we hook this in? So we replace my old unit with this one. It's about the same size this way. This one's definitely deeper. So I'm curious to see what that what that sounds like. Okay, let's go over there. All right guys, so this is my old one here. This is a Amazon special, Amazon Basics, which is what it was. Uh, so we're gonna unplug it. It was plugged in with optical, had a little power. Now I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping, was that the same power possibly works. But if you were to compare these two, this one's got a plastic, this has got plastic outside to it, so not even like a particle board. Uh, input wise was the same, but plastic. Uh, so we're gonna move this one over here. Uh, this one is about, I almost wanna say, almost twice, twice the depth this way, but just slightly, slightly narrower, like width wise. So this one I'm guessing would be like a 31. This one probably in my guess, 28 to 30, somewhere in that range. Uh, but let's see if we can get these to plug in here with my existing stuff. If they were nice enough to have the same power, oh, maybe, maybe that one plugged in. And I got little, little indicators on the front. So same power, which is fantastic. And then what we're gonna do is just plug the optical in. Is that's that's what I'm what I'm using. All right, we're in there. I have to say, I think just cosmetically, it's a it's a nicer looking unit, and I do like the fact that it has like the buttons just here on the side, so I can just kind of go here now, and I should be able to just hit that power button. We got auxiliary, Bluetooth, and then optical. An arc. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to optical. <laughs> nice. Hold on, we'll get you a little closer. So let's let's turn let's turn the PlayStation on. Yes? One sec. Okay, so number one, super happy. Just me playing around in here. The sound is coming out. So setting this to optical, I literally just had to move everything from the old speaker to this speaker, which I like a lot. So we're gonna go to PlayStation. It already sounds uh, a little fuller, for sure. A much, like a fuller sound. And we're just gonna turn this on. And I could use a remote, but I'm here, so I'm gonna use the button here on the side. Okay, so far I'm, so far I'm, I'm pleased. That's loud. And I'm guessing we just have to, yeah, so there you go. We'll bring it down to 15. I was playing Spider-Man, so maybe I'll continue. And 
you can even tell, you guys, I'm close, but you can tell that there's definitely sound separation. Yeah, like you can hear sound coming even out of the dual sides. And you get to watch me play a little bit of Spider-Man, which is, which is always good, right? I should always play this close to the TV, for sure. I'm flying pretty close to blind. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty impressed with this. Are you okay? One more thing that we'll try. Hold on. So I'm gonna come down here. We'll come out of this just for now. I know you guys are like, don't go out of it. Play some more Spider-Man. No. So I'm gonna come here now and grab my phone because we should be able to also connect this to Bluetooth. So if I come into my Bluetooth here, just just again, let's 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 find out how this works. Coming into my Bluetooth on here and just setting this input to Bluetooth. Wonder if it'll show up in the bottom here. Yeah. Marito. Tap. Connected. Connected. And if I want to play some music, I'll just play something fast. I can't play anything too too long because we'll get nailed, right? Turn that up. Hello, hello, baby, you come back and hear a thing. That's all. But let's let's play something else. Like let's go into YouTube. Just on my phone. Just my intro. My oh, even the commercials. Really taking off, but I didn't know how to invest in it and still have money left to live. Yeah. My CIBC no, it sounds great. Built a plant and I definitely think it has a a, a fuller sound, a a bassier sound. I think just overall. Two things is that it does have, it is a 2.1, so it does have that subwoofer underneath, which is good. But I think just the fact that it's wood. Uh, all my bigger speakers downstairs, that was a big thing, was that they were actual wood cabinets. So this cabinet is wood. Uh, and I just, it's a nice, it's a nice looking speaker. Um, right now, I think you can pick these up about 129 bucks Canadian on Amazon. Uh, yeah. I think it's it's better than than my old speaker for sure. Links down below if you guys are interested, and uh, maybe I'll go play some more Spider-Man. Why not? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys back downstairs in the studio next video. Later, my friends.